The DJI Osmo Action 4 is one of the best action cameras on the market right now, and there are quite a few accessories out there. I normally do a GoPro accessory guide every year. I just did mine a couple days ago, actually, if you want to check that one out. But this year, I thought it was worth making a separate DJI action camera accessory guide, just because there are some accessories that are specific to DJI. So in this video, I'm going to talk about 12 essential accessories for your DJI Osmo Action camera. Many of these are compatible between the Osmo Action 3 and Osmo Action 4, and some are also compatible with the Osmo Action 2. And you'll want to watch the entire video because there's one core essential accessory that I think every Osmo Action 4 owner should buy, and I'll mention it somewhere in this video. So first, let's talk about the Osmo Action 4 standard combo versus the adventure combo so that you know the difference between the two. The standard combo is $399 US dollars and it comes with a camera, one battery, a horizontal to vertical frame, a DJI to GoPro quick release adapter with a locking screw, curved adhesive base, a lens hood, anti-slip pads, and a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Now for a little bit more, the Adventure Combo is $499 US dollars, and you get everything in the standard combo, plus two extra batteries, a multifunctional battery case, and a 1.5 meter extension rod. So it's about $176 worth of extra accessories because you can buy all of those accessories separately. Now, if you don't already have the Adventure Combo, I do recommend picking up the spare batteries and also the multifunctional battery case. It's multifunctional because you can also store your micro SD cards in here as well. And I especially love this battery case. I use it all the time with my Osmo Action 4 just because it not only charges the batteries but also holds them in place. You may also want this extension rod, but there are some cheaper alternatives to it, which I'll talk about later on in this video. So let's start off with mount adapters. Like the Osmo Action 2 and the Osmo Action 3, the Osmo Action 4 has DJI's special magnetic quick release, which I think is one of the main advantages that it has over competitors like GoPro. However, most mounts out there have a quarter inch hole or the GoPro finger mount, so you'll have to use these adapters. Now the DJI combos do come with a plastic quick release to GoPro adapter, but there are several metal adapters by Ulanzi that I think are more useful. First is this DJI to quarter inch hole base mount for $14, which gives you a single quarter inch hole on the bottom for attaching to mounts such as the Insta360 pole which is my favorite extension mount, or any standard tripod plate. Or for a couple bucks more, you can get this dual interface folding base, which not only gives you the quarter inch hole, but also metal GoPro folding fingers so that you can use it on any GoPro mount. This is kind of a reverse take on that adapter that exists for GoPro, because if you didn't know, you can add the DJI magnet mount to GoPros too. But I especially like these two mounts because they let your camera rest flat, unlike the DJI to GoPro adapter where the GoPro fingers are locked into place. Next is a quick release ball head adapter that might be useful if you want more control over the exact positioning of your camera. It's all metal and it costs $28, so it's a bit heavy and also pricey, but super solid in build quality. And it also has a quarter inch hole on the bottom for attaching to accessories, and it has a cold shoe mount as well. Now, if you like any of these three mount adapters that I mentioned, you might want to stock up on a few of them and attach them to your most used accessories so that you can quickly flip your camera between them. A few of those accessories that I like a lot are the GoPro neck mount for POV shots and also the PGY Tech Mantis Pod Z, which is essentially an enhanced, cheaper version of the GoPro 3-way. I've put adapters on both of these mounts and I use them a lot with my Action 4. Now before I move on to other accessories, I want to mention that core accessory that I think every Osmo Action 3 and Osmo Action 4 user should buy. It's a replacement battery door. It's all metal and it gives your Osmo Action 3 and 4 vertical mounting without the need of the cage. I'm really surprised that DJI didn't release this themselves or at least incorporate it into the Osmo Action 4 because this way you don't have to use that plastic frame that comes with the Osmo Action 4. I mean, its main purpose is to give you vertical mounting. Anyway, this is made by Ulanzi, and it's the best $20 that you'll ever spend on your Osmo Action 4. So I highly recommend it. Now, before I move on to vlogging accessories, there are a couple of action-oriented accessories that I recommend. The first is the DJI Osmo Action GPS Bluetooth Remote Controller for $79. This is an official DJI accessory, and it's the only way that you can add GPS to the camera and also gives you the ability to control the Osmo Action 4 from afar. It comes with straps to mount it on your wrist like a watch or to the handlebars of a bike. 
It's often out of stock, so it's kind of hard to get a hold of, but it really is essential if you want to add GPS data to your camera and also have a Bluetooth remote control. Another action accessory is this wrist strap. I especially like using it when I was filming videos of my son at the beach because this way I still had both my hands free to support him and still had a camera there to film. The official DJI version has a magnetic quick release and it's $39, but there are third-party versions that cost less. The next action-oriented accessory can also be used for vlogging, but they are filters. Now these are great for reducing the amount of ambient light if it's too bright, and also for shooting in cinematic settings. DJI does make their own filters for $59, but it only comes with three ND filters. While the Freewell version comes with six filters, ND8, 16, 32, 64, and 1000, and a polarizer for $100. The final action accessory can also be used for vlogging, and that's an extendable mini tripod. I like using the one with the DJI magnetic base built in, but you can use any of the adapters that I mentioned earlier to convert your existing tripods and mounts to a DJI magnetic mount. But two in particular that I do like a lot are the official DJI mini tripod for $49 if you like to stick with the DJI brand or this cheaper $25 Ulanzi version, which I actually prefer for a couple of reasons. Number one, it has a more secure metal ball head compared to the largely plastic ball head on the DJI version. And also the Ulanzi version is a bit shorter. This DJI version, you know, it looks short, but it can't actually sit that way. This center column has to go up quite a bit before the legs can actually sit flat. So the Ulanzi version ends up being a little bit shorter and sometimes you do need a shorter tripod. Next, let's deep dive into vlogging accessories, starting with this metal cage. So both the standard and adventure combos include a protective cage, but it's all plastic and it truly doesn't offer any more features other than allowing for the vertical mounting of the Osmo Action 4. Ulanzi has a far more robust and useful Osmo Action 4 cage that's made of all metal, so it is a bit heavy, but it offers more protection. It also has a vertical and horizontal quick release mount built in, and both mounts have a quarter inch thread if you want to attach a mount that way. Also, the horizontal mount has folding GoPro fingers, so you can take advantage of any GoPro accessories. And finally, the Ulanzi cage has a cold shoe mount on top for adding accessories, such as a light or external microphone. This cage is pricey at 60 US dollars, but again, it's all metal and it offers some truly handy features. Now, if you need to add a cold shoe mounted accessory, but you don't want to use an expensive heavy cage, you can also get the Ulanzi magnetic cold shoe mount instead. I don't have it with me because for some reason I didn't notice it until just now, but for $20, this is a quick and easy way to add a cold shoe to your Osmo Action 4 just by simply attaching it to the vertical mount on the side of the camera. So be sure to have that in the form of that core accessory that I mentioned or the plastic DJI cage. Now, since I mentioned a light mod, my favorite one has always been by LumCube. It's rugged and tough and it fits nicely into the cold shoe adapter on the Ulanzi cage. And there are tons of optional pro-level lighting modifiers, such as colored gels, barn doors, grids, and diffusers. So you can really shape the light more so with LumCube than with other brands. And the final must-have accessory if you plan to vlog with the DJI Osmo Action 3 or 4 is a microphone to upgrade the sound quality. The best microphone to use, in my opinion, is the DJI wireless microphone um, because the receiver plugs directly into the side of the camera, and it's a really seamless experience. You also get wireless transmitters, which offer you the best sound for a single person that's speaking. But if you want more ambient sounds, or if you're planning to point the camera in multiple directions, not just at one person, then a directional microphone is probably more appropriate. I favor the Sennheiser MKE 200 because it's reasonably priced and it's quite small. Even with the furry windscreen on top, it generally doesn't show up in the first shot, shot, while most other microphones out there do. So those are 12 essential accessories for your DJI Osmo Action 3 or 4, in some cases your Osmo Action 2 as well, but it's really the 3 and the 4 because those cameras are essentially the same physically. So most of these accessories will work with either of those. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you already have any of these accessories or if you plan to pick some up. Also, if there's an accessory that you use a lot that I didn't talk about, let me know because I'm planning to make one of these accessory guides every year for the Osmo Action cameras. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more content. I'll see you in the next video.